write that in. So, so what is this thing over here? This thing is a spherical camera. So it sees all around, not just 360 degrees, but the whole sphere. So, well, as you can see, I can see everywhere. Um, so can we switch over to the, uh, the other podium, please? Make this happen. There we go. So can we switch to, the, to this podium, please? Great, so, so when you take a photograph of this, this is a photograph I took uh, earlier this morning because uh, I didn't trust it to do it quickly. What you get out of it is the equirectangular projection of the sphere. So you take the sphere and you unwrap the longitude and latitude and this is what you get. And that strange pink thing at the bottom is my hand because I was holding it, holding it out like this. So, so you put this in your usual image editing software and you can you know, play with the light balance and so on. But if your camera is rotated wrong, you're out of luck because usual image editing software doesn't know what to do about the equirectangular projection or something. So this will, this will surely change. They will fix this. Um, and I started thinking about, you know, well, how would you go about rotating? What's the best mathematical uh, setting in which to do this? And what about other operations like uh, zoom? Is there such a thing as zoom when there's no frame to crop out? Well, what do you do? So the right setting for this is complex analysis. Um, so we've seen this picture before. Um, stereographic projection will take you from the sphere onto the plane, which we're going to think of as the complex plane. And then I can just apply complex functions to the complex plane and then put them back on the sphere, and then I can do everything. So in fact, I can use Mobius transformations to do both rotation and a kind of scaling. So once you're on the plane, you can just sort of multiply by some number, and that will scale things up or, or shrink them down or rotate, and that does everything. So we have a way of, and I'll show you examples, of doing uh, scaling on a sphere. Um, well, once you've got things that you can scale, then you should be doing the Droste effect. So um, you may be familiar with uh, the Droste effect from Escher's print gallery. Um, here's an in, this is where the name Droste effect comes from. There's a Dutch brand of cocoa that has on its packaging a copy of the cocoa box. And on that packaging, there's another copy of the cocoa box and so on. It's a picture that contains itself. So, um, so here, here's, the, uh, here's the, the sort of spherical version of that photo I just showed you before. Um, let's see if I can actually get to the controls. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on. Let me try and get this to behave. Ah, well, okay, this is interesting um, because the screen is much smaller than it should be, so I can't get to the next slide. Um, okay, don't panic. We're going to do it by hand. Okay, so we're going here and here. Okay, so this is a Droster effect picture, but it's a spherical one. So you can see, so this, here's Vi. Um, he's not here. Here's Andrea. Here's, here's me again. There's Vi again. Uh, but don't worry about that. That's your usual computer trickery. What about this? So this is a spherical image with this zoom effect in it. And so now we can finally answer the question, if you're inside of a Droster picture and you turn around and look the other direction, what do you see? There's a strange portal floating in the middle of the room that has to be there. Um, okay, let's go on. So you can also um, do the twisted version. This is sort of closer to the Asher's twisted version. Um, so we've got the sound right. The sound is going to work, I hope. Um, I hope. Come on. Uh-oh. Why are you not happening? No? Technical issues. Let's try it this way. Hey, past version of me. So, as I was saying, my name is Henry Sengerman. This is a spherical Droster video. So, you're sort of slowly zooming this way, or rather the frame here is coming over you this way, and over there there's a sort of weird pedal portal in the middle of my apartment. This is the future, so there's future versions of me over there, um, and this is the past. Uh, so, I'll hand you off to a past version of me to explain again what's going on. Hey, past version of me. 
So, as I was saying, my name is Tom Sarah. Let me try and show you a couple of others. Oh, except I need to do it this way, sorry. This repeats a few times. So, uh, why stop with just one Zoom? So this has uh, four different, well, two, two portals, and so there's, there's a shot key commutator thing going on here. Hopefully that makes sense to some people. Um, you can do any, well, you can do all kinds of different um, complex functions. So, instead, so these are Mobius transformations, so they, they um, uh, there we go, let's do this one. So this, this version, um, well, So I, w I won't show all of it. Let me mute it. So, so you know, here, here's my couch, and here's my other couch. Uh, my, my laptop's not on this couch. It's over there. I need to go and get it. Um, I can't get to the controls to fast forward it. Um, oh, I am basically out of time. Let me show you one other thing, if I can. I, I, I owned a dollar the, this morning. Can I pay it back? Um, so, so that was... Uh, a two-fold cover, this is a five-fold cover. Um, it's a little hard to interpret what's going on. Um, but yeah, there's um, Anyway, okay, one, one last thing I want to show you. Whoops, no, let's try this. Um, so I was at the Palace of Fine Arts, and uh, it's this beautiful, symmetrical building in San Francisco. Um, I can't get to the fast forward button. So, well, like even if I drag down, the, the controls don't appear. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Um, any suggestions? Well, the arrow keys move it. Yeah. Are there any keyboard shortcuts? There may be, but I don't know what they are. Okay, well, I'll just show you this one. Here, I'm about to show a reflection symmetry. So this is all on my YouTube channel. You, so if you go to this with your, your phone, like you move your phone around and it moves the picture around. So go to it on the YouTube app on your phone. I'll stop here. Thanks very much.